Hello everyone, this is Lucy05 and welcome to the Cobra Command Central Toy Review. Today we'll be looking at the pair of vipers. One came from the 25th anniversary line and the other, the Rise of Cobra. Now, let's take a look at the packaging here. Now this figure never actually appeared in the comics. They did mention about a paratrooper, but not as a para viper and not in this sort of design so this figure or this character itself actually is new and never appeared in the Marvel comics or even the IDW comics or whatsoever and it's a really nice touch because we finally get a para trooper for the Cobra army and has a nice artwork in the front here and at the back the other toy waves and at the bottom, the file card is stated Cobra Paratrooper, code name Cobra Para Viper, file name various, primary military specialty, airborne infantry, secondary military specialty, infiltration, workplace various. Now, he quote, jumping out of plane into a cold, thin air when everything is pretty much a speck below you and there's nothing to help keep you alive but some thin fabric sounds like a completely insane thing to do. You're right, it is. That's why we do it. It made the entire code itself very, very badass. And this is the Wife of, uh, Rise of Cobra version with a different artwork, very nice and very detailed artwork of the Para Viper. And at the back here, it stated Para Viper units are highly trained area commandos for Cobra who have undergone a procedure that renders them utterly fearless. Their next generation low profile helipacks provide extended flight and kept them keep them undetectable to radar. Preferred weapons, Mars Industry D57-A Extreme Environment Tactical Rifle. And there you have it, the two packaging here. Now for the pair of Vipers, they came with a lot of accessories. First we take a look at the light machine gun with a bayonet and a bipod. There's a magazine on the side and a foldable stock at the back. This is removable and so does the magazine itself. But the problem is they don't stay on very well because they are quite loose. So I have to apply some glue to it to make an extra layer onto the pack. But it doesn't stay on for the for the glue itself. The layer of the glue itself doesn't stay on very well. So I have to find some other type of glue to hold it. Here we have the helmet with four tubings to connect to the heli pack. Very nicely done. Now the Highly packed for the 25th anniversary version. Not, not just the uh, difference of the repaint. As you can see, the repaint here. We have a, the repaint here. You have the red Cobra logo, and here the original version will be in yellow, which is really horrible looking. And there's a hole at the back for the Rise of Cobra version. And as you can see, the difference here, the tubing is translucent clear. And this is painted in silver. Originally, it's in translucent red. Next, we have the goggles. Oh. Here, we have the 25th anniversary version. It's actually originally a translucent clear plastic painted with orange color. But some of the color chipped off. As you can see, and it ha and this happened even before I opened the packaging. It's like that inside the packaging. Now, on the side here, you have the adjustable strap. This is the Rise of Cobra version. It's painted in silver. There's no detail for the 25th anniversary version. Overall, I really like the goggles on the Rise of Cobra. It's much more better in paint job. Next, we have the strap to place it on the hips and, and the lower leg here. And you can actually pop it off like so. There's a peg, a tiny peg here. Place it into the hole. Next, we have the MP5. The colors, the original color for the 25th anniversary version is in dark blue instead, including the knife handle. I painted in black for the mp5 and the light machine gun because dark blue doesn't seem realistic enough then we have the flippers which you can store at the back of the figure the back of the figure is 
lower leg is all flat out so there's a hole there and you can place it like so problem is both versions have the same problem as the peg is not long enough to place it at the bottom feet of the figure so it tends to fall off by its own sometimes see yeah, the slight movement will knock it off and the knife which you can store it on the bottom of the leg itself there's a knife sheath another difference is this version for the 25th anniversary don't have the mp5 magazine strapped onto the right thigh it's originally on the left thigh so it doesn't hinder the movement on the knees where the knife handle is located for the Rise of Cobra version it switched so the figure is, is not exactly a repaint but there's some changes problem is it's a really bad change because with the knife on it hinders the leg so it doesn't stay straight and for the 25th anniversary version I repainted now originally the colors for the knee pad and the elbow pads are in orange so the elbow pad here not the fins is on is in orange so it looks really horrible I have to repaint it into black so it looks much more nicer here the knee pad here is in red and the elbow pad at the back is in black now this figure is what it looks like without all the accessories and everything it Rise of Cobra like most of the Rise of Cobra line it comes with an oversized missile launcher except this one is a backpack where there's a large pack here to place it at the back of the figure's hole at the back here like so and you can see in the backpack there's a hole there you, uh, you slide it in and you're supposed to hold these two handles and it flies with the rotable blade and the missile <laughs> launches from the ass the button is at the bottom it launches the missile articulation wise you can turn the head 360 degrees problem is the lower chin and the back of the collar itself tends to pop the head off you can pivot the head up and down turn the torso 360 degrees and pivot the body back and forth turn the arms 360 degrees and lift it like so can bend the elbow but can't bend backwards because it's hindered by the elbow pad which is nice 360 degrees turn for the wrist and the elbow itself legs can bend all the way down but it spreads due to the oversized crotch double jointed knee ankles can pivot downwards and upwards and it has a really nice uh, paint job on the eyes for the 25th anniversary version it's the same so the paint job is really nice I'm not sure if you can see it the eyes are painted in black and the background of uh, the white color of the eyes is also painted it, with the ski mask on he looks very I would say very mean looking guy it's very nicely done however for the 25th anniversary version as you can see the main body itself is painted in this purplish dark blue color still all right but it's also ruined by the yellow colors on the helipack and the knee pads of orange colored knee pads orange orange colored elbow pads and the yellow cobra sign at the back so it sucked and another problem with the figure itself is for the rise of cobra it comes with a base stand like so but the pegs is so small that the figure can't stay put well enough so overall I still like the Rise of Cobra because it's much more better in paint job than the 25th anniversary version. So I'm gonna give this guy an 8 out of 10 and this poor bastard here, I'll just give it a 7 out of 10. So thank you all for watching, this is Lucy05, signing off.